Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Nexus of Fate. And Nexus of Fate is a very interesting card because it is the M19 Bio Box promo. That means the only way you can get this card, you cannot get it in the booster box, you cannot get it in a fat pack, you cannot get it at Walmart. The only way you can get this card that is now a standard for of is to buy a box from your local game store and hope, hope that your local game store will give you one. Now, many local game stores only give one per customer. This makes it extremely difficult to get four of them because even if you buy four boxes from the same store, you're not guaranteed to get four promos. I know many of my local game stores in Houston, they only give one per customer. Even if you buy a case, it doesn't mean you get six of them. And I have gotten into an a enlightened argument about whether or not that is correct with DNA Comics, which was my local game store. Now, Nexus of Fate, surprisingly, has gone up in price. This video was taken a while ago, and the price of Nexus of the Fate was about, let's say, $40 a card. $30, $40 a card. Now it is about $40 a card. The reason that this is such a dangerous, dangerous thing to do for Wizard of the Coast, local game stores are not going to repeat. If your local game store gave you one of these, good on them, but logically it makes no sense. Now, I know a lot of you will probably mention, a lot of you will mention, oh, customer, uh, lifetime expected value of the customer. Yeah, that is a valid point, but let me give you some math. A booster box costs $78 to buy in from a distributor. If you're lucky, you can sell one of these for $90 at your to a local customer. That is the current going rate. No one selling boxes for $100. That profit margin of $90 minus 78 means you only make $12 a box. Obviously, there's tax. There is... You know, tax would be 40% of your profit. In this case, all you have to do is sell one of these promos for $40. By selling one of these promos, you get between three to four times the value of selling three to four times boxes. Okay, that didn't sound right. The Selling one of these promos for $40 profit-wise is equivalent to selling four boxes at $90 and you would be lucky to do that especially with the M19 core set having the expected value of under $70 a box right now I expect that price to go down below 60 at some point in standard so many of you will say oh I always receive this buy a box it, it's just illogical for a store to do this they literally have $40 bills and to make $12, they're going to hand you $40. Think about any business. To make $12, I'm going to give you $40. That is not a sustainable model. Uh, it is not a very wise model. And this card, the buy box promos were just such an awful, it was Wizard of the Coast's worst concept. Because... There's nothing to stop its price from going up. And if it's a half decent card, even a tiny bit decent card, you're looking at price gorging from everybody. From stores, from players. There's no one in this situation that feels happy about it. So a store, maybe they do give these out. Now they look like idiots. Because... You could have sold them for forty dollars then. You could you could have sold them for thirty dollars then. You could sell them for forty dollars today, and they're very in high demand. And as a store, you have a place of them, so they're very easy for you to sell them. The problem of this for a player is you need to get a place of these. How are you going to do that? The only way that I can think you can do this is if you go to four different stores. Now, each of these four stores have to be commendable stores willing to give you this card, willing to give you a $40 card for your $12 profit, less than $12 profit. That's crazy. 
Uh, that is so crazy. Uh, this was the biggest mistake Wizard of the Coast has ever made, in my opinion, uh, in terms of actual cards printed. It makes no sense. Um, it is something where everyone and their grandmother knew this would be the outcome of a half-decent card. And they're still going to do it. I think the next set has one of these uh, bio box exclusives as well. Yes, you want to help your local game store, but your local game store, the math, the math doesn't work. The math does not work. Your local game store should not be incentivized to give these out, given the fact that they represent the whole profit of a case. It's easier for them to make money off one of these, and they get a giant packet of these, than it is, let's say, what do they come in, packets of 10 or 20? And they get four packets, so 40, 40 of these, $1,600. That's more money than they would. That's more money than if they sold every box. That's more profit. Anyway, bye guys.